Hello friends, welcome to PHP video tutorial series. In the previous video tutorials, we understood how to download and install the WAMP server. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss how to write and execute PHP scripts using the WAMP server. Before we write and execute the PHP scripts, first we need to check whether the PHP engine is working or not, whether the PHP engine is running or not. Because PHP engine is responsible for executing the PHP scripts, right? How do we check? Simple steps. Click on the WAMP server icon available on the taskbar or in the tray. You get the context menu. Click on the local host option or select the local host option. You will see WAMP server homepage open in the default browser. Let me go to the tray. I click on the WAMP server icon. You can see the context menu is open. I select or click on the local host option. You can see that WAMP server homepage is open in the default browser. If you see the WAMP server homepage open in the default browser, then you can say the PHP engine is running and you can start writing the PHP code and execute. And you can see in the address bar it is showing local host. What is that local host? I told you a server which is installed in the local machine is called as local host or the virtual host. Local host refers to the local server running on the computer system. It points to the root directory of the local server. Local host points to the root directory of the local server. Which one is the root directory of our WAMP server? Because our WAMP server is a local server, right? The root directory is www folder, which is available in the WAMP folder. How do we get there? Click on the WAMP server icon. Just click on www directory. You see that in the Windows Explorer, it is showing www folder, which is available in the WAMP folder. And the WAMP folder is available in the C drive. This is a folder to which the local host is pointing. At present, local host is displaying the index.php page. The browser is displaying index.php page. This page is the index.php page, friends. Let me prove that. I just say here, forward slash index.php. If I hit enter, you see the same information. And the index.php is available in the root directory here, index.php. We know that PHP scripts are executed by the PHP engine. That is the reason we are seeing this information. The PHP engine is executing this index.php file. That's the reason we are seeing this information. Otherwise, we might would have got some other information. So now we are clear that the PHP engine is working. PHP engine is running. We can proceed further and write and execute the PHP scripts. To write and execute the PHP scripts, we follow some simple steps. First, we write the PHP script. Okay. Open the notepad. Just go to start. Say here notepad. Click on the notepad. You can see the notepad is open. And the next step is type the PHP code. Here I write less than question mark PHP. That indicates beginning of the PHP code. And then we write question mark greater than that indicates end of the PHP code. Within this, we write the PHP code for the execution. Here I say echo in double quotations. I say hello world double quotations semicolon echo is responsible for displaying the given value in the browser window. So it displays hello world or echoes the hello world in the browser window. Next thing is we need to save the file. Save the file in www directory with the file extension .php. For example, hello world .php. You can give any file name, but you should not forget to save it with the file extension .php. And all the PHP files we store in the www directory for execution. Okay. So let me go to notepad, file, save as. Now I need to go to the www directory. So what I do here, I'm going to copy this address c colon backward slash wham backward slash www go to notepad i paste here control v and hit enter you can see we are now in c wham www now i give the file name here hello world you can give any file name i say dot php you should not forget that both sides i put double quotations and click on the save button you should see hello world file available in the ww root directory. So hello world dot php. That is how you save the file. Let's proceed further. Next thing executing the php scripts. How do we execute the php script or run the php scripts? 
simple thing open your browser type localhost we know that localhost points to that www directory within that we have hello world.php file right so we write forward slash file name dot php you should see in the browser window hello world displayed so let me go to the browser instead of index.php now i say here hello world.php i hit enter you see hello world text is displayed you can see that we have successfully written the php code and executed friends that's it i suggest you people to try this yourself i think for this video tutorial this much is enough friends from the next video tutorial onwards we are going to get a lot of information on php for more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial